Uh, the program has just undergone a fairly major renovation. Uh, we got brand new classrooms. Uh, the lab areas have been refreshed and it presents itself very well. New tool rooms, uh, new lifts. I have been on the ground floor of this process all along and I am very, very excited, really stoked that it came to fruition and it really looks good and I, I come in here every morning and I, yeah, this is all right. I chose the automotive program at Riverland because my grandpa was um, a, a technician at Holiday Cars, kind of a bigger dealership in Austin. And I kind of want to follow his footsteps. We uh, work closely with our industry partners because uh, they tell us what they would like to see in our graduates and we change our curriculum to go along with whatever it is that they want. Berlin is so beneficial for our community. Um, it gives students that um, live and work here an opportunity to continue their education without leaving our community. Um, I also think it's been really impressive to see uh, the relationships that Riverland builds with our local employers and other organizations so those students can see like a life and a future here beyond just their educational years. We prepare them to go out and um, get an entry level position, um, basically get them ready to be an apprentice. Our program is changing a lot. Um, there's a lot of new technology, a uh, lot more stuff geared toward automation. A lot of uh, maintenance facilities need that skilled uh, uh, electrician. Now they can't just get by with you know guys that can ch only change a fuse. I chose the electrician program because I'm good at doing things with my hands. My dad's been an electrician for 25 years. It's a big deal to have our industry partners part of our program and and kind of include them on everything and, and they also can tell us what their needs are. What I find with a lot of businesses that I work with, they are um, can't find skilled labor and that can particularly be with, uh, you know, whether it's truck drivers, welders, um, electricians and the people in the, in the trade and it's very difficult and the community college really um, addresses a lot of those issues, keeps our young people here and provides some skill training for those trades that are so important, especially here in the rural areas. We're training students to both work in the trucking industry and the egg industry. We would like to have our students leaving here both confident to work in either direction. For out in the shop, you know, we've got you know wider doors so we can get the big equipment in. Um, we got a really nice overhead crane. I chose this program because I live on the farm, always had a passion for diesel. Um, it's close to home, it's nice that I can live at home and still commute. And it's just the atmosphere, I love the atmosphere. The demand for this kind of technician uh, is, is, is very high in our region and actually nationally. I hope to stay in the area that I live in to a local diesel shop. I'm looking forward to go more egg going somewhere to a John Deere dealer or a different tractor dealership. With updated space, we're hoping that more students will be interested and want to be here. We teach everything from welding, machining, uh, hydraulics, pneumatics. Excellent job placement. We can't put out enough students for the demand that we have in the area. So I chose the industrial maintenance program uh, because it works a lot with your hands uh, and maintenance kind of always interested me knowing how things work and how you fix them. The more donated equipment we can get from industry, uh, the better we can prepare uh, your potential employees for industry. So we're really excited about our new range. We, uh, we've actually got a mock dock that uh, we've created out there so students will be able to back into what is a simulated dock. The shape is such that we're going to be able to use the space a lot uh, more effectively than our current range in Austin. We uh, have a number of industry partners who provide the equipment 
to do the training. So this truck we're sitting in here was donated by XPO three or four years ago. And you know we wouldn't have something like this to do the training with if it wasn't for our industry partners. We are offering all of the basic CDL specialties. So we have a coach bus, we have a school bus, we have a hopper trailer, we have flatbeds, we have vans. Because we offer all those different things, uh, I kind of think of it as a buffet of trucking. I think it's a, a huge benefit to our students uh, in why they would want to come here versus someplace else. I think it's great that the state has invested over $10 million here in our community. I mean, um, just hearing um, the positive kind of vibes that are, that are happening and, and the chatter that I'm hearing at different meetings about this, it really shows the dedication and the commitment of Riverland here for our community. It sets the stage for these new great programs. I know transportation being a primary one. Um, that we can not only retain the students that we have here, but also grow um, that student population. And I think it's really key for our employers to be able to see that Riverland is here trying to partner with them and grow our workforce.